As the pattern of two is the most simple pattern, just to only two accents, two basic movements, of course is the pattern, <clears throat> among all the other uh, patterns, that is sometimes, we can say, uh, um, uh, performed in a personal and peculiar way by different conductors because it's easy to change little things inside a so easy movement and so simple movement. So let's see some probable variations of this pattern. First of all, uh, talking about the Russian school um, by Ilya Muzin, when we talk about the pattern of two staccato, uh, the two um, spots on our um, plane are just <clears throat> placed one uh, close to the other, like this here, and the hand with the Russian technique is plucking the two spots like this, you know, instead of going as it's down and up, down and up, it just moves from one uh, spot to the other. This is a possible staccato in Russian style, like this, one, two, one, two. Then we can have <coughs> a variety of movements, uh, for instance, uh, with the legato, because this movement can easily become more horizontal. The reasons can be that I need a very um, deep legato, and so I want to show the orchestra with a wider movement, and so I just go maybe one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can see that I'm actually brushing my my space instead of plucking, but sometimes you can see that. Or another way, similar to this, it's the um, the sign of an, an, an eight or the sign of an infinite, just going like this. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Maybe Toscanini used to do that. So sometimes it happens to see this. And uh, sometimes also, uh, but it's um, maybe uh, uh, more probable when you get a 6-8 um, tempo that we will see later on, but you could also find another style in the, the pattern of two, which goes like one, two, one, two, one, two, like two small circles, one big and one small, one, two, one, two. We will see that also in the 6-8 pattern. 